our judges have completed their placings in the Milking Shorthorn Senior Three-Year-Old Cow Class. Could the junior exhibitors please take a step forward? Second place junior in the class is entry 912 HCHP Moonshine Sherry ET, shown by Taylor Graves of Danville, Kentucky. The first junior in the class is also in third place. She is entry 909 Innisfail RU Lady 304 EXP, shown by Nicholas John Aachen of Cherrywood Farm, Lockin, Kansas. The production award goes to entry 910, My San Heavenly Lollipop, shown by GGOBAH cast of JJC Jersey, Beaver Crossing, Nebraska. At two years, three months, 305 days, she produced 24,433 pounds of milk with a 3.5% fat, 867 pounds of fat, 3.3% protein, and 812 pounds of protein. Second place in the class is entry 911, Innisfail CY Lady 259, shown by Crazy Town Genetics, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Winning the class, best stutter and best bread and owned is entry 919, Lazy M Cyclone Dixie, shown by Michael Meyer, Stitzer, Wisconsin. Congratulations to our exhibitors. Judge Top, your comments. Well, another terrific class here in our Milk and Shorthorn show, but this three-year-old that comes to the top of the class, she's a cow. You just admire this cow. She's extremely balanced from end to end. You admire the sweep to the rib that she has. You admire the dariness, the angularity that she has. And she's a cow that's got an incredible mammary system. She's snug in her forward attachment. You love the veining. When you get behind her, you admire the high, wide rear rotor attachment that she has. And the cow walks out on a tremendous set of feet and legs as well. Cow coming out in second, what a, probably one of the tallest cows in the class. You admire the uphill run, the length of bodies that this cow has. A cow that also wears a lovely mammary system. When you get behind her, she's not as high and wide in her rear rotor attachment today as her first place cow. She's also maybe not as snug in her forward attachment today, but what a beautiful frame cow. You admire the uphill run, the dariness, the angularity that she has. And she has a little more sweep, a little more drop to her rib today than the real stylish cow coming out in third. You admire the third prize cow with that hardness across the top, straightness of lines that she has. And a cow you wear, love the mammary system on her as well. She goes ahead of cow on fourth on that levelness of fours or rears, teat placement today over the recently, cow, uh, recently fresh cow coming out in fourth. You admire this fourth prize cow that had twins here just a few weeks ago. You love the dariness, the angularity. She has just so much more frame today. Gives me a little more drop to her rear rib today. Also going to get behind her. She has a little more width throughout than the real stylish come at cow coming out in fifth. You admire the fifth prize cow with that balance that she has. Just like see a little more cow today to get her any higher in the class. She does it on that mammary system. She's snugger in her attachments today. When you get behind her, she has a little more definition of seam, a little more height than width at the top of the rear today. And a real big balance cow coming out in sixth. 